Hey, how's it going guys? JC here, and today we have a match against Yasuo with Warlord's Bloodlust. OP.GG runes and masteries will be on the screen right about now. Let me just turn on my OP.GG. Okay, there we go. So Yasuo, level 1, he beats you. The reason being is because his Q is on a shorter cooldown than your E, and he gets a free shield, so there's absolutely no way you can beat him no matter what level 1, as long as he lands his Q. So I just, just let him have it, basically. Let him push you in. That's basically... But if he wants to auto you, so this is going to hard push to me, just because I let him auto me. And if he's doing that, you know, just let him auto you once, and then you can back off with your E. And this is going to push really nicely into us, I hope. I think it should. But it doesn't look like it's going to, that's really strange. Usually it does, because my all my minions aggroed him. So that was really strange that it didn't. Because his minions has always been hitting mine, and my minions also hit him. So that was really, really, really strange, really awkward. I'm going to hit level 2 off of this. He's doing a really good job actually getting the the wave to push into him instead. That's really strange. No, I wasn't going to dodge that. No way. So yeah, we just basically play safe until level 4. That's our saving grace. Is level 4, we can fight him if we're on even field, say, if we're both full health. But otherwise, don't really bother. He does have he does his Warlord's Bloodlust as well, and he has Doran Shield, so he has massive sustain. Any poke I do, any trades I do, he's just gonna heal it up anyway. So yeah, as long as we play back, we're really not gonna take much damage. Like he's not like a Pantheon that will chuck spears at you, and even that doesn't do enough damage to you, especially if you have cloth armor. But since I don't have cloth armor, I just don't let him hit me as much. And I'll stay full health until level 4. I'm surprised he's actually... It's not pushing. That's so strange. I expect this to push into me. So yeah, oh, right there I was just trying to sidestep his Q. So any chance I get, I'll sidestep it. Just like that. Or just keep moving, like non-stop movement, if you can. And don't, don't walk in a straight line to minions, kind of like go around, as long as you can get the CS. And you're always going like back and forth at random directions. Oh, he just missed that one. That one I was just going for the CS. Okay, so now we're level 4, we're in a good position to trade with him. Or like start to trade, if we want to. We don't have to because we outscale the Yasuo anyway, as long as you go the PD, Ninja Tabby build, you should be able to outscale him. So we got his shield. We can look we'll pop a potion and look to start trading soon. What the heck? There's a buy here. Oh, I'm so dead. He has to flash to kill me. Jesus yeah. Alright, well I made buy flash, but that's so unfortunate that she came the time she did when I started trading. So I have to buy a I have to buy cloth armor. Buy I know F. Ah, uh, that's so unfortunate. Hopefully. Uh, this cannon's low health too, that's really bad luck. If this cannon had way more health, I would get a lot more minions in this. This cannon just died right away. Oh wow, okay, mid died as well. That's... Oh, oh Jesus. Why bot lane died as well? Oh my god, that should have been an auto attack. Flash with an auto attack would have got him. Damn, okay. So the timing that I went in on the... Yasuo was just really bad. And I think he knocked me up when Vi queued me, or something like that. Really unfortunate, so I have to play a lot more safer right now. But yeah, that was going to be a kill on the Yasuo if he kept fighting me. But unfortunately the Vi came in a really perfect timing for him. Because that, that Yasuo was just dead. Level 4 we beat him. Well, not like necessarily, but you kind of have to pop his shield first, and then you beat him. So yeah, if he goes really like ham like this, and if he tanks a lot of minions, I might be able to kill him still. Oh, okay, wow, he played that well. That trade he did really well. We, caught, we can always look for short trades because we're completely destroying him in health. It's just that he's level 6 right now, so I'm not too keen to do anything yet. Like, he has the EXP advantage. <coughs> Oh, okay. Wow, he went really deep there for that CS.
But yeah, it doesn't really matter if he pokes me at this point in time because I just have too much sustain. I do need one minion to get level 6 though. So I have to be careful of a dive right now. I'm just going to put a pink here so that in case of any Vi dives, because I feel like he's asking for help or he's going to ask for help. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, that Vi really wants to camp me. I think she knows. She knows that I'm going to win. If I don't get camped, I'm going to win. There we go, he sidestepped that one. Okay, that's fine. We chunked him to half actually, so that's really nice. I want to thin out this wave again. And then I can look to fight him if he tries to go for these minions. Okay, that's fine. I can heal up. Hmm, well, okay, nice. He took two tower hits. So if he actually stays around, I can all in him here. Alright, let's see if he's around. I also see the Vi, so this is really nice. Well, not so nice that he got the Infernal, though. What the heck? He teleported down there? I'll, I'll try to maximize this. He's going to miss a lot of minions. So I'm going to push out one more wave behind the tower. Because I know that the Vi is nowhere near. <clears throat> Hopefully I can push this one. Oh, wow. I don't have enough AD. Alright, I need to back off very soon. Oh, he's already here. Yeah, I need to back off. Okay, that's fine. So because I proxied, if I go back home right now, I have plenty of time before any minions can crash into my tower. Actually, maybe not. Never mind. Damn, that's unfortunate. Alright, we're just going a really safe build because I feel like that Vi is going to come to us again. And these tabbies are going to help us be super tanky against the Yasuo. And we're going to buy, buy it anyway. As for like any bit of extra crit, it really doesn't matter that much. I feel like the attack speed matters the most. I think Tabwise gives more movement speed than the Zeal anyway, so this is probably the better purchase. Okay, so Vi is mid. Wow, he's actually really tanky. Okay, we can look to fight him again. Ah, uh, he's missing again. The thing about Yasuo is he likes to dash through the minions, so you have to make sure you don't spin onto him because he'll just dash away into the minions. He's actually one level above, so... Mm, not a good idea to fight him. I don't know how he got such a huge advantage. I guess it, it was from the Vi, actually the Vi gank, that's right. Okay. He lost that trade pretty hard. Yeah, he lost that so hard. Just because we are playing back, and then we do our short trades, and if he goes in any further, he just loses every trade. So Yasuo is just relatively easy lane, to be honest. Just uh, early levels, he does beat you, so you just have to hang back until level 4. Then you can look to fight him if there's a good situation. Unfortunately, I went in at a bad time. What the heck? <laughs> what is Vi saying? Is she laughing because I beat the Yasuo after she ganked for him? Maybe. It could be. Maybe it's something else or I'm just misreading it. So the important thing is we got our lead back and we're going to be able to snowball it from here and just beat the Yasuo. The build is really similar to how I build against Renekton and against Rivens. So you can just basically use that as a reference. The Yasuo basically has the same items as us. Oh my god. Vi top again. So Vi's just, yeah, staying top for the most part. Which is really good. Because I, I, to be honest, I don't need the... Oh my god, oh my god. What the heck? Where's our jungler? I thought I was getting dove. What the heck? That was scary.
I feel like that Vi's coming, so I'm backing off. Very nice. So we forced her top again. Why camping? What the heck? Oh my god. You're fired. Oh my god, please, please, please. Please just let me live. Holy, holy, they really want me so badly. I got the slow on him. I'm just staying away because there's no point in risking my life for no reason, since the Kassanen 100% got it. <laughs> uh, I did a little BM to the Lee. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little toxic now. I'm, I'm just a little salty because that Lee didn't come, and I, I literally held them off for so long. Oh wow, that, that Lee. Zero and three? What? No wonder he didn't come. I'm back! You've been back enough! Oh, get me out of here! Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, he's here. Oh, can they? No. Alright, wow. I felt kind of boosted, but I just had to get that tower because... I feel like if I span away, that tower's last hit's gonna kill me. Uh, I hope that Lee doesn't die. I don't know what came of it afterwards. Oh, okay, he did die. Damn. Wait, what happened to Cassidy? He's... He's at the fountain. Oh, damn, we lost our top tower. I hope we don't lose because the Lee's underperforming this badly. Alright, so we got towers on both sides. I feel like once I push this out, I should go and roam mid and then bot. That way I can spread my kind of some presence and help the team out. Because I feel like if I was to just keep pushing top, I'm going to lose at any rate. I'm just going to lose. I could take Rift Hell. This is going to help me a lot. If I take this one... If I take this one, I can take it to bot lane and start pushing towers. Hopefully no one stops me. I have my pink ward or my control ward to kind of, you know, deny any vision off of them. So hopefully this works. Nice, we should have this one. Very nice, very nice. Damn, I forgot to drop a ward because it takes your trinket slot. I should have dropped a ward here uh, before it, it took over. Or, because I kind of just wasted it, you know. So I'm going to push out a wave. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm going to push out this wave. And then I'm going to start roaming uh, with Rift Herald. Damn. Actually, I can push one more. Since I see everyone on the map, it's safe to push one more. Oh my days. I might be able to just get this tower then. If no one's coming, I'll just use it here. I might be able to get two towers and take it really quickly. After that, I'm going to go bot. I feel like this is the best way to use it. Because there is a time limit on the Rift Herald. Oh nice, that Rift Herald actually gives me CS as well. Okay, we actually did a number. Oh. Oh, is that Kassen dead? Oh, no, he's not. Okay, nice. They don't have Ezreal or anything. Okay, nice. Ezreal's on our team. I go take bot towers. Oh, I hope they don't... Man, maybe I should go mid. Freak, freak, freak. Oh, my God. I actually really want to go mid right now. Damn. Actually, if they back off, there's no point. Uh, I made the right decision by just continue pushing. That, that is the right call, I suppose. Always use your static shift charge, guys, because you, you want these minions to help you hit the tower as well. And if your static shift can just clear the whole wave with your E, you might as well use it. So we're just here to spread our strength, you know, to other lanes. And hopefully we can turn this loss into a win because right now we're going to lose at any rate. Just like if we just keep this up by not doing anything other than 
Uh, I mean, I'm kind of just taking objectives here, so it, it is kind of what I'm saying, but hopefully we can make a win out of this and just denying the you know enemy jungler some of this jungle camp. I see the Yasuo here. I don't know where everyone is, so I'm just going to back off and assume that they're coming. Alright, we have to back off. I'm gonna go buy my PD, and I think I might push out this top and then rotate mid and try to help with a team fight or something like that. This longsword is just there as filler to be honest. It can turn into a last whisper if I see the vibe building too much armor, but I don't think so. Like she doesn't look like she's building any armor at all. So that might I might just sell it later. Or it might turn into my Bork actually. Yeah, it'll turn into my Bork. I'm, I'm going to make my way over there. Maybe I'll, I'll pick up something. Yeah, this should be a kill. Man, I feel like that Lee shouldn't have gone back in. We could have got a free Baron off of that if Lee stayed alive. Okay. Man, that Yasuo is going to take my shit. I need to go stop him. I should be able to kill him as well at the same time. It's just unfortunate gold values. I'd much rather have an IE right now. But I think this will do fine against the Yasuo that I'm about to face. Oh, is someone following? Okay, nice. Ah, damn. That, that Thresh Lantern though. Okay, Infernal. Oh my, he's so dead. Oh, wow, wow. Maybe I should have went into the pit with him. That's so unfortunate. Ah, oh, it was a nice try. Oh, he needs to get out. Damn. This game's looking so... So brutal. But that's like all my games I've ever played. I think I dodged the Thresh Hook. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, I did. I just want to win, to be honest. I'm so tired of losing these kind of games. I mean, if there's something we can do right now... I just feel like... Wow, the Lee's 0-8. Jesus. Uh, I want to make something happen, but I don't... I can't initiate. That's the problem with Trindamir is... If I initiate, I'll just get Thresh hooked and all that. Because they have a Thresh on the enemy team, that's the only reason. Like, if they have a Soraka or something, I can probably go in myself. Like, as an initiator. But not when there's a Thresh. Thresh just has so much crowd control, uh, I can't just... I can't do anything about it. Oh. What? What? He didn't kick. He should have kicked it. Or oh, kicked her. This tower is at half because of the Rift Herald. Well, I wasn't able to protect the Rift Herald. This game feels so bad. But that's like every single ranked game that I've had um, in the past week. That's how I got demoted. Let me see what I can do here. Uh, I showed myself so that Vi just backed off. I don't think we should fight here. Oh, someone got hooked. Go for the Vi first. She's not tanky at all. Jesus, can I get out? Alright, I got out. Very nice. But at this point, we oh, so rough. That's barren. And I think our team's just being toxic to each other, so... I wish I could... Guys, please just mute each other. Man, we're not gonna win if they keep arguing among themselves. I'm getting really unlucky with the teams. Honestly, I feel like this whole week is just really bad luck, like non-stop... If I don't do anything, if, say, I just win my lane, I'm just going to lose. Uh, unless I do something spectacular, like, I need to roam, but I didn't win hard enough to roam, just because that Vi, you know, she got the early kill on me, and that just blew all the chances I had of, you know, doing well early. So, I'm pretty sure if that Vi didn't come, and at level 4 I killed the Yasuo, I would have been able to roam a lot earlier. And in that sense, 
Okay, he's not in the bush. And in that sense, I would have been able to help my team better. So I felt like that was my fault for not knowing that the Vi was there. So I did make a, a really fatal mistake, but it's only fatal because our team isn't that strong. Our team's actually very weak because the Lee is just feeding. And yeah, I don't know about this Serrated Dirk. Let's see. Actually, we I push this and then roam. I think this is the only way. Pressure and roam. I have to go back. They're going to end the game, actually. I literally have to go back or we lose the game straight away. Okay. See if we could make something out of this. If we could get... Nice, I got the Syndra. Damn, I tried. I tried. They just have so much CC with the with the Thresh that I can't do anything in the team fight unless he already hooked someone else. But in terms of fighting the Yasuo, very very easy. Like at this point in time, I can always 1v1 the Yasuo as long as I have an ultimate up. All you have to do is make sure you don't get kited around. Make sure you expect him to dash into your minion wave so you don't commit in like with a E. You just walk up to him. If he walks away, you use your W. And then if he doesn't walk away, he goes into you and starts dashing through the minions. Save your W for when you know for sure there's no minions for him to dash to. You get the slow off, you get your Bork slow off. You just wail on him and then and then you can E on him after that. But save your E, that's the key to beating Yasuo mid to late game, guys. So hopefully you guys learned something. I'm just getting thrown a lot of impossible games at the moment. So uh, I, I'm in a world of hurt right now. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something anyway. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.